Paul Oliver jumping at two. See Wayne Graham there, jersey number four. Number one is Greg Denham. And Derek Cornell punching off the back of that line. Here's John Bevan, wrapped up by Sims, outside the 22. Mark Romans. Romans on his own. Ran out of support and Reese saves. Good strong one by Mark Romans, but he was on his own, looking inside and out for support. And eventually it was Elgin Reese who made the kick that saved the Lions line. Wallison kicks to Douglas Morgan, who really bounced that one of his hands. Here's Sir Ray Scott moving through. Strong charge with Thorne. That's Sims, Romans, Paul McPhee, Doug Rollison, 15 metres out. What a strong run by Rollison and a great tackle by Hay. So the universities will have the put in. A little bit of a flare up there. Romans, the weight going in. Mark Romans, away to McPhee, who looks a particularly good looking first by Ray Randall Scott. Carried on by Graham Elvin. The goal line just behind. Hay again made the stop. Romans, long ball to Rollison, number 12. Chipping through for Hawkins, his massive teammate. But the referee's whistle is gone. Six minutes gone in the second half. The Lions again in arrears. Romans, McPhee. A left-footed kick. Elgin Reese gets away from Ray Scott. Randall Scott is there. Dave Sims. Ray Scott again at the 22. The university's piling in. What a drive. Greg Denham leading it now. Now Dave Sims. Mark Romans. And the Lions players ruled offside. Coming around that ruck situation. Peter Wheeler, the man who infringed. Wheeler to throw. Universities conceding nothing to this Lions team at the moment. Morgan, Bevan. Heffernan across. Doug Heffernan. 10 metre mark. Caught by Hay, who rarely misses one. There's Dennis Thorne, and Ray Scott, these two fine loose men. This is just 15 metres out. What a charge! So the university's fighting back with a magnificent surge up the field, headed off and led away by Doug Heffernan and the two flank forwards, Dennis Thorne and Ray Scott. So number 21 on the field is Alan Martin replacing Gordon Brown. 15 yards out from the Lions goal line. Tap ball for Mark Romans, this excellent little halfback. Denham feeds Thorne, his Auckland University teammate. Paul McPhee in trouble and wrapped up by Tony Neary. Ruck ball here for the universities if they want it. And the man getting tapped on the shoulder is Clive Williams. And this is a simple kicking chance for the New Zealand University's team. Straight in front of the posts it is for number 12, Doug Rollison. He's hit the post for the second time. Some incredibly bad luck for Doug Rollison. Down to Russell Hawkins. Dave Heffernan. The tackle was made by Bruce Hay. But this university team is in a bustling mood at the moment. Pegging the Lions back. They have the lead by 12 to 9. It could have been more. Had two kicks by this man. Not bounced off the post and stayed in. Referee Lynch has been a controversial figure in this match. 24 penalties have been awarded so far, but he's dished them out equally to both sides. Romans, held in the back by Elvin. Romans, McPhee. It's Russell Hawkins, actually, number 11, who came in as first 5'8". Red ball for the universities. Sims, McPhee. Paul McPhee. 
university's rugby has never had a bigger boost than today. They had a famous victory over the Springboks in 1956, but have scored no other wins against major touring teams. They were ahead by 21 to line and forcing the Lions to run the ball from kickable penalty positions. Ian McGeekin, Tony Neary, another blue there by the Lions. Bevan again, Hay is outside. Elgin Reese, number 11. Big tackle by Doug Heffernan. And time is running out on the Lions' unbeaten record. Now three minutes left in the match. That's the 22 metres line. Lions are pushing on to Morgan, away to Bevan. McGeekin with Mo Bevan doubling around. Again, a penalty to the Lions. Penalties now total 18 to 14. There's been an awful lot of them in this match from Kevin Lynch, the referee. Wheeler, again, this doubling around moves. Jeff Squire on his own Squire. That's only two metres short. Wheeler, good mauling. Morgan, Bevan, Bircher, McGeekin. Great sidestep from McGeekin. Bruce Hay, Elgin Reese. The man that made the tackle was number 13 from Victoria University, Dan Fui. The singing, rip, reminding us of the big soccer crowds in Britain. Bircher, McGeekin. Touched by Fui again. The referee has ruled that Fui is up over the advantage line. So the Lions can move the ball from the tap here. Number 12, Rollison pushed Bevan before the kick was taken. A penalty here again to the Lions. Morgan. And Phil, oh, the big front forward, lost it forward, and pounds the tap in frustration. Time is up on the clock. And the university seconds away from a famous victory. Another penalty for the Lions, giving them 20 for the match. And 14 awarded to the universities. But on the board, it's 21 points to the universities and 9 to the Lions. Another tap coming up. The last minute of play, the Lions' unbeaten record goes on the line today. Quinnell, almost getting through. And that is a famous victory for New Zealand universities. The British Isles' unbeaten record in New Zealand is over in the ninth match. Universities 21, New Zealand Universities 21, the British Isles 9. The player of the day was Paul McPhee who scored the university's only try. Doug Heffernan kicked two penalties, Doug Rollison kicked three penalties and a conversion and two more hit the post. For the Lions, Quinella try, Morgan a conversion and a penalty. The Lions lost their two lock forwards who went off the field injured but they lost the match to the New Zealand universities by 21 points to nine.